Welcome to another Python GDAL tutorial, everyone. <clears throat> so I think this is the third tutorial in the series. I mean, the first one was just kind of an introduction. The second one, we went over how to open a raster data set and then how to um, query some information about that, such as the number of rows, the projection, and the geotransform, uh, things like that. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to read uh, the information from a raster band and how to use that information. So I have a DEM here. If you want to get this same DEM, uh, go back to the video a couple videos ago and check out the, the video on how to download a DEM for free. Um, and you can download it from the, the USGS National Map or from the NRCS Geospatial Data Gateway. So anyway, this is the DEM I'll, I'll be using, and I showed you how you can get that in a previous video. Right now, let's go ahead and open up our Python console. And so for those of you who, who missed the first two videos, I'm working in QGIS right now, and it's a really nice environment for Python programming because it comes, it includes um, most of the, the modules we want to use. My computer's being a little slow today. So when I opened this, I just clicked on this little uh, page button here, which is going to open the text editor, hopefully. Um, maybe not. Let's open the console again. We're having some problems. Okay, there we go. Now I've got it open. Okay, and so here's some code from previous tutorials. Um, this is the code from our last tutorial. So I'm just going to start uh, a new script here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll import GDAL. And then we need to create a GDAL data source or data set with GDAL.open. Okay, and now what I need is I need the file name of this raster. And I know right where this one is, so mine is going to be... Actually, I'll just put the file name up here, so if you want to grab this code, it makes it easier for you. So my file name is C, temp, elevation, and then med, 10m, dot, tiff. Okay, so I can open my file name here. And now comes what we want to work with. So once I've opened that file name, um, this is where I'm going to uh, get a variable name, band one. Uh, so I'm going to my data source dot get raster band, band number one, and read as array. And this will read it in as a numpy array. So let's go ahead here and let's click, let's do band one, or let's print band one dot shape. So this is going to be the shape of the NumPy array, the number of rows, the number of columns. Before I run this, let's come over and just take a look here to make sure we get things right. So I'm going to double click on this, or you can right click, oh it popped up, right click and go to properties. And I want to come down and look at my width and my height. So my width is the number of columns, my height is the number of row, rows. So we're looking at 1065 and 1418. So let's go ahead and run this, and we should get the same information here. So I'll go ahead and click Run Script. And there you go, 1418 rows, 1065 columns. Perfect. So now what we can also do is uh, let's just go ahead and print band 1. And this is not going to print a whole lot. We have a whole lot of rows here and a whole lot of columns, so it's going to print an excerpt here. Um, but we'll see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and click Run. Okay, and so you can see here that we get a bunch of no data values. And so what's the, what this is printing out, it's printing out the first three values of the first row and the last value of the first row. And it's doing that for one, two, three, four, five, six rows. 
and then here's our last row here. So oh sorry, so we do it for the first three rows. So here's the first three rows, and then we have a space and the last three rows. And you can see those are all no data values. Um, but let's just come out. I'm going to close this script real quick, and we can just kind of check on this. So here, this is the value tool. Um, I just did a video on how to install a QGIS plugin that will show you how to install this tool if you don't know how to do it, but it's a QGIS plugin. We're just going to come up here, and we're just going to check. So there's no data. It's right up here along the edge. So if I zoom into this first row and just hover right over here, I get no data. Okay. And I can open my properties back up. And my no data value, where is that value? Band one, it's not there. Here we go. So here's the, the no data value. It is really small, really negative, very negative number. Um, which if I open my console back up, is this number right here. And you can see that, I don't know why that got selected, but anyway, because oh, that's over it. There you go. So you can see here that no data value is occurring right there, just like um, I thought it should here. So now that's just double checking our values. And so now we can see that we have this in there um, as an array. So now that we have this in there as an array, we can do all kinds of stuff. We can use a lot of numpy functions on it. So we can do band one uh, dot sum. And uh, let's see if this works. I never don't remember the exact syntax. Hopefully that works. Okay, and so you can see that we have, that's an object. And now we should be able to just hit parentheses. And it's negative infinity. And that's because we have these, these no data values in there. Um, but we could do np.max. And if we run that, you can see our maximum value is 2,749 meters. We can do our minimum, which is just going to be the no data value. But let's see what it looks like. And we get the negative value. Uh, we can do mean. And we get a negative infinity again because of those, those no data values in there. But so as you can see, there's a lot of power that comes from having reading this um, band into a NumPy array. Okay, so this is a pretty basic tutorial. Went over a few things here, but this is going to be the basis of almost everything we do with the rasters. Uh, number one is opening a data set. Number two is reading the raster band as an array. And so make sure you know how to do those two things, and we'll get into some more advanced things and analysis as we move on with GTAL. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions or you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below and I'm happy to address those. Have a great day.